hello guys so this is our first power bi lecture and we are going to see a series of power bi from end to end okay in this series we are going to start with this video and as you can see i have not imported any files over here or nothing i have done here okay so this is from the scratch we will going to have one database which contains multiple tables and uh, on that database we are going to start a power bi project from end to end basically we will see the modeling section we will see the analytical section we will see the tax section then reporting section right after that the power bi service also will be included in this course okay so this is our first video and we are starting from the scratch so let's be familiar with the power bi tool okay and this is the power bi desktop and there is another one which is power bi service actually power bi service is a cloud based service and this is the power bi desktop so whatever the initial stuff a uh, power bi developer does it does it on this power bi desktop only okay as you can see this is the untitled file because we have not imported any data in it as of now so let's start so i suggest always start with the settings so that your your data will not be manipulated or uh, by default okay we will change some default settings we will see the reasons behind it also okay so there are global settings and their current file settings okay so global settings will be applied to all of your uh, all of your data sets okay whichever data sets you later on uh, include in this power bi but as of now we will we are dealing with the current file and its data uh, data sets okay so auto detect new relationships after data is loaded we will uncheck this this is the option where the different different tables will automatically find their relationship with each other so we will going to create a model manually we will build a model manually so that we will keep it unchecked okay again auto date and time intelligence this options uh, will be about the date time okay so they will generate the hierarchy automatically or this stuff automatically behave behavior of that date and time will uncheck that we will do it manually also okay. background data allow data previews to download in the background let it be as it is after that the regional setting or oh, we have a us data set so we can choose it accordingly whichever data set you have okay i have a us okay privacy no need to change anything so this basic stuff is required to change okay if there is there anything else detect column types and headers for unstructured sources okay so what what it will do the data inside your column power bi will understand the data and uh, based on data based, based on that data power bi will assign the data types let us say there is one column having a annual revenue so annual revenue is a whole number integer basically so it will assign the whole number data type okay suppose there is a name column which having a text data type so it will assign a text data type okay so this kind of stuff will be done by this so we'll keep it check only so that we will not worried about to change every time okay this is a very basic settings okay once it is applied Okay. as you can see we don't have any data data inside this we can get it from here only uh, here also in data okay otherwise we can get it from here also in home tab get data menu so there are a lot of options to get data from but initially we will see this power bi desktop overview kar lete iska theek hai so left side left hand side pe you have the views so there are three types of views mainly 
majorly there are three types of view so the first one is a report view second one is a table view okay and third one is a model view so there are three views the dax view that dax query we will will explore it later on but this th three are majorly used okay after that in right hand side you will have this pane okay so this is the data pane model model building uh, visual building pane this is the formatting pane okay this is a co-pilot given by the microsoft this is bookmark and this is selection pane okay mm, okay so this pains you can always go to the to view ribbon and you can always anytime uncheck it or check this option so that it will disappear from here or if you want to if you want to keep it so you can keep it as a checked only so data you will need uh, most of the time okay. build option again you will need most of the time and along with the build format is also needed so you can keep this always marked bookmark and selection will it depends okay so these are ribbons so there are a lot of options given inside each ribbon we will explore it one by one so this is the basic overview left hand side you will have a reports or oh, sorry views right hand side you will have panes so this is a filter pane okay. if any filter you are going to apply on the visuals so this will be inside this filter pane mm -hmm. okay again these are there it is like excel only you can generate number of worksheet in excel so here you can generate number of pages in that pages you can generate number of reports okay so it is just like the excel only so let us delete let's delete this we don't need it as of now we will start building uh, or getting some data okay let's start to get some data in this page one we'll get one data from here you will get a lot of options the most frequently used option are over here if you want to see the number of options given you can always go to the more in power bi there is a very dynamic options like you can get a data from excel the text and csv data xml data json you can get a data from a folder also you can get data from databases also there are almost uh, every database is given here but a power bi developer will work on a, a given database so you don't worry that you will you just need to know all of these things so it is not necessary that you will know all these things suppose your company is working on the mysql or suppose your company is working on the microsoft sql server okay so you will specifically working on that uh, section only okay so there are number of options given post grade database uh, which are some other uh, azure also option available there azure Power BI is a Microsoft's product and Azure is also Microsoft's product. So this Microsoft Azure is available in these options. Like you can get a data from Azure SQL databases. Okay. But in our case, we are we have a file flat files in our database or in our PC. So we'll get that flat file from here only. Okay. I'll click on this option text and CSV. And uh, if I go to this option, I have I have created the folder for these files. In these files I have the Adventure Works raw data. Okay, and uh, I have flat file in this folder. So these are the flat files. We are going to take this data from this table. Okay, let's start with the uh, calendar lookup. Okay. So when you get data from a file, it will be loaded to this. It will show you the option that do you want to load it or do you want to transform it. So we're going to take care about this. Before that, we can see the Power BI has detected some information about the data we have uh, that we have imported, which is like delimiter. Delimiter means the separator. We have selected the CSV file, so the delimiter is CSV means comma separated values. So obviously the delimiter in this file is a comma. Okay, the file origin it has uh, 
detected the file origin and also the data type for this column values so there are the date values in this column so our bi has detected based on the first 200 rows it has detected the data type which is date okay and uh, when you transform or when you load let us see transform okay when you want to make any changes in your data let it be any change so then you go to a transform data and you will or pop up with the option called power query okay or in case if you don't want to change anything you can directly load and the data will reside in the main page only to the front end in our case let's try to explore the transform data tab so that we will get an option to explore the power query editor so you will see over here the power query editor is open okay and if we jump back to the main page this is the front end page of the power bi and this is the power query editor okay so we are at the power query editor so it is kind of similar to the power uh, microsoft excel so if you know about excel only <coughs> then it is very familiar but then it will be easier to understand if you don't know then still we are going to explore each and every thing in this power query editor only okay so first of all in power query editor whenever you get data from a table so in this view the table no longer called it as a table it is called as a it, it called as a query okay so this table is called as a query we can always rename this table enter and now this table is renamed as a calendar lookup okay so this is the name which you want to give to the table but let's be related with the table data so data contains the date only so i have given it a calendar lookup okay you can give it any name and this formula you are seeing here you don't need to worry about this formula this is auto generated by the power bi and this formula is called as the mashup language which is m code f m m language if it, or you can see it as a mashup language you don't need to worry about it this the power bi will generate it automatically whenever you apply some changes on this the, the, for that step the power bi will generate some different code and these are the applied step applied step will increase or it will be it will show that which step you have applied on this data step means if any changes you have done in the data so that will be assigned as a step only so these are the default setting we have seen that the power bi will automatically update its data type based on the data inside the column that we have spoke initially the same thing is applied over here only if you go to the source option source step you will see the initial data was like this the first row was with a date name which is basically the name of that column which is header of that column but power bi have, uh, has assigned it automatically to the column name okay just because of the it is a default setting if you uncheck that setting you, you you have to do it manually suppose you are here then you have to click on this step use first row as header then it will apply this step okay let's say in this step i have removed this step and the step is like initial stage that only data is get got from this source you can see the source also we have taken it from a folder so it will give the folder path and in this data it will give some information like what delimiter is what type of file it is okay after that if you want to jump to a next step and assign the first row as a header you can always go to home tab and click on the first row as a header okay so that it will name the column as a first row and it automatically detected the data type you can click on this icon and you will see that it is like a date only okay so it is data type has been changed for this data type has been changed for this table okay i think this will be done for the lecture we will see the rest part in the next lecture